And so he turned around and looked at it and he dove down and goes, oh, that, that looks like a piece of gold. And it was actually stuck in the reef. The power of social media helps reconnect a Solano County man with his family's treasure lost in Hawaii more than 50 years ago. It's a family heirloom and it's only the size of a key and soon it will be reunited with its owner. New tonight, CBS 13's Jen McGraw is in the newsroom with this incredible story. Jen. Tony and Christina, you never know what you're going to find beneath the sea. In this case, the diver once pulled out a $3,000 Rolex. While this is no fancy watch, it is worth more than its weight in gold. The beaches along Waikiki in the surf days have long just been a distant memory for Sandy Morrison. That is until he received a strange message. And they said, uh, ever been to Hawaii? Did you ever lose anything? Did you lose this cross? In an instant, he flashed back to 1966. While surfing the tide one afternoon, he encountered a boat. I dove off my board. He hit my board. He kind of hit my shoulder and I tumbled around under the water. And I came up and the cross was gone. Sandy was only four years old when his father, Alexander Morrison, passed away. There were only pictures left and the cross. It's a secret he's buried for all these years. I was totally devastating. I was, I was guilt ridden because I took it out of my mom's jewelry box. I didn't even ask permission to take this cross. He couldn't believe his eyes. There was a picture of my cross with my dad's name on it, and I just. Uh, I hit the floor. <laughs> Lost all this time until a diver off Waikiki spotted a glimmer of hope. I looked back and I saw this uh, gold object. Dated back to 1932, John Abila knew it was something special. I felt like somebody earned it and I wanted to get it to the rightful owner. The two connected through social media. Sandy says it's been a miracle. He turned it in. He's such a righteous man. He has such a great spirit. His wife, Rebecca, can't believe it either. It just sank to the bottom of the ocean and it stayed there and it didn't go anywhere for over 50 years until John came along and plucked it out of the coral. For Sandy, it's more than just sunken treasure. He now has back a piece of his father and peace of mind. I feel absolutely blessed. I'm so humbled. And their story doesn't end there. A group on Facebook raised money and the airline pitched in to have Sandy and his wife meet the man who found the gold cross. Now stay tuned for next month. Hopefully we'll have the happy reunion. Oh, what a great nice. story. My goodness. You're going to go to Hawaii with that story, Jen? I yes, I think they that. need a you do. definitely a reporter and probably an anchor okay, if you want them right. to. Fantastic. It's, it's done. Sold. <laughs>